Hey guys, how many of you here in the past four months have been feeling angry, right? Maybe stressed out. How many of you have been grateful? How about thankful, right? I just want you to know today that, you know, that's something that I haven't done very often, but uh, it's been on my heart to just share that with you because I think that this is really important. And I think that this can be helping you out to just, you know, to see uh, your day-to-day -day might be a little bit different. And, uh, you know, obviously I think it's going to be different for the better. Right, all of those feelings of how you feel, right, those emotions that people have, I just want you to know that your feeling always follows your focus, and your focus will determine the direction that you're heading into. And for the past many months, obviously, with what uh, everybody's been going through, right, it's been difficult for some of you, uh, you know, and, and to be able to deal from one day to another, having different emotions from being really angry, from being thankful, maybe grateful, maybe. Uh, maybe more negative than positive. And I just want to give you a little bit of my perspective on, you know, how can we get back on top of our game here? So I want to bring your attention of, you know, what I want to say to you today is like, you got to go back into, you know, this thing called being in vision, being into your vision. Back in January or December or last year, you know, the last few months, Lots of people are just like, you know, you're setting out goals or maybe you have dreams and you're writing things down. And some of you, you just, maybe you didn't want to write it down because you're like, I just want to make sure that if I don't write it down, then, you know, I don't have to feel bad if I don't, you know, meet those goals. But let's just pretend that you had some goals and there's things that you want to do, right? You have to go back there because once you go into vision, then what happens is you're using your right brain and then you become creative, you get excited about, you know, the future and what's happening today, and you have something to live for. And what's been happening is when you're in vision, if I can bring your attention right here, right, it says vision. When you're in that place, this is a good place to be in. And all of you have been there, and you have to go back there, because I'm telling you that this is really the key. Uh, I've done some video months ago, and it says, you know, I would say, hey, you know what, this shall pass. Now, obviously, probably all of you thought that it would go, it would pass faster than, you know, this COVID thing would be done by now. But you know what? This shall pass. It's just a matter of time. We don't know when, but it's going to happen at some point in time. So being in vision is really important. So taking some time, I've been telling many people out there, I'm like, you got to be like, are you having some me time? And me times, what that means is like, do you have time for yourself? Do you have time to just reflect back? And maybe to journal, maybe to write down your goals, maybe to write down your dream, whatever that might be. And spending some time for you to be in vision because that's really important. There are some people that have gone through this here, through this COVID thing. Is after vision, you have this thing called mechanic or mechanical. You get into this mechanical part that you've done something for so long that you're just based on your training that you can just pretty much do it with your eyes closed, right? It's just like me. I've been doing adjustments for 20 years. I can pretty much do this with my eye closed. I could just lay my hands on a person's spine and I would know where they need to be adjusted. You know, in, in, in your field, for any one of you, whether it's a sports or your work, there's many things that you can do that it becomes mechanic because you've done it for so long. And then it comes to a point where, you know, here's, boom, here's the crisis. And the crisis for many of you, it's been COVID. I mean, for, you know, for everybody. And when you get into this, this uh, you know, you get shot, then what happens is you go into the survival mode. And survival mode is when you start hanging out into your limbic brain. And when you are into your limbic brain, it's all about fear. It's all about anger. It's all about worries. It's all about not knowing. And then the focus is just on you. And when the focus is just on you, nothing good happens, right? Because you're scared. And there's a lot of people that have been scared. And because you get scared, then you get paralyzed. And it's all about survival. So what I want to share with you today is I want to give you some hope that if you want to get out of that, you know, you feel like a hamster and you're just going that wheel and you're not coming out of it, right? You have to go back into vision. Because if you go back there, you're going to be thinking to higher level, getting back on your goals, on your dream, taking time for yourself in the morning to just write in your journal, and if you go back to that place, I promise you that life's going to be a whole lot better. I cannot tell you how many people I've seen in the past four months, right? That it's all about like, my question is like, do you have me time? And then I'll have people, they will start crying. I'll have people will be like, they have tears into their eyes or they're like, you know what? No, I haven't had any time for me because I'm so stressed out. You know, I got to take care of this, this and that. 
And, you know, people don't know. They sit on the couch, they watch TV, you know, lots of the news that, you know, people shouldn't be watching. And then what happened is you get into this place of survival that it's not a good place. And then on top of that, physically, and I want to link this to the physical, right? Then what happened is people start putting weight on. Because when, a per when the lion comes out of the cage, your blood pressure is going to go up. Your blood sugar is going to go up. Your blood fat's going to go up. Your immune system's going to go down. You're going to start putting fat right around the waist, and you'll be like, what is that all about? Right? And then your immune system gets suppressed, right? So all of those things, they're unwanted things that you and I don't want, but as a result of the place that we're in and here, this is what's going to happen physically. And some of you can relate right now because you're nodding your head. You're like, that's me, right? So I want to encourage you today, right? Those are my words for you, which I think that it's been on my heart to share that with you for a few weeks now to just like, you need to be in vision. You need to stay in vision. You need to have time for you. And if you have time for you, what's going to happen is you start journaling down. You know, you start going back and looking at your goals and looking at your dream that you had in December, maybe last year or whatever you've been working on. And how can you see the opportunities right now for you in your life, right, to make things better around you? You're never going to be able to change the world outside of you until you change the world on the inside. So what can you do for you? And one last thing that I want to tell you as it relates to the physical body, right, is there's like everybody talks about what we can do on the outside, right? We're waiting for the vaccine and you put your gloves on and you put your mask on, but nobody talks about really how can you be healthier? How can you, what can you do for yourself, right, to make yourself stronger that if, if, if or when, if you were to be affected by COVID, for instance, how could you know that you know that you know that you'll come out of it, right? And the answer to that is you have to work on you. How can you make yourself better, right? Are you moving enough? Are you getting your regular adjustments? Are you eating real food? Are you putting those food supplements into your body to make sure that you have what you need for your body to overcome whatever can come at you, will come at you, you'll be able to overcome that. So I want to leave you today with, you know, this message of hope to know that guess what? You have everything that you need inside of your body, right? To be able to, to take care of whatever is coming at you. Those bodies have been around for a long time. And we've been around environment with microbes, with bacteria, with viruses, all this stuff. And guess what? Those bodies are very, very, very resilient. And the question, my question to you today is what can you do to make sure that your body is resilient? So I want to leave you with this. I want you to think about that today. And like, what is your next step? Right? Am I moving enough? Am I putting the right raw material? Have I been taking care of my brain and nervous system? You know, my spine and nervous system, making sure it's functioning properly. Have I been, you know, taking care of putting the real the real deal, the real food into my body, putting, you know, the, 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 the raw material using food supplements or herbal complex or whatever that might be, right? To be healthy and to know that I know that I know that I'm doing everything I can, right? That if or when this was to happen, right? And some of you, you probably don't know that, but you know, I mean, I just want to remind you that you're, we're, we're, there's bugs around us, you know, every day, all day long, Right? So how can we make our bodies stronger to overcome that? So that, that's my message for you today. Hopefully this was helpful to you and uh, we will be talking to you soon. Take care.